Hi everyone, we are going to look at your person's feelings towards you and see what is coming through for today. So um, yeah, this is for whenever you are watching it rather than from it's when it's posted. So it's a timeless reading. It's for all star signs. So if you're here, I feel like it is a sign in itself. Also, if you wanted to win a free reading with me, check out the description box below since I do giveaways every single month. If you would like to purchase any personal services, personal readings, intention items, or anything else, everything is listed down below for your convenience. So definitely check it out if you are interested. And also there is um, the intention items, which thousands of people have have seen results with. There's um, the review section at the bottom of my website for it, which is on shoppinglightguidance.com. And there's also bracelets, necklaces, anklets, pom-poms, tassels, embroidered cards, which you can put under your pillow, your wallet, or your purse, sage bundles, candles, teas, etc. So check it out if you are interested and it's all there. Okay. So with that being said, let's have a look and see what your person's Thoughts for you are today. What are they thinking about in regards to you? Whoa. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, okay. Hold on. See, that, see this, I don't edit my videos because I just think that this is, you know, this is a realistic part of what happens. <laughs> they can get very slippery. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ooh. Let me, let me just tell you this, okay? Wait for the full message, okay, when I tell you this. They feel like a snake. Now, technically, right, I think more so in, like, the Western world, snakes are known to be, you know, very, like, deceitful, not very nice, like, gossipy, um, snakes are known to be, you know, like when someone calls somebody a snake, it's like, oh, you're a snake, you know? Um, whereas kind of more in like Vedic, in the Vedic part of the world, I, well, I mean, the sort of more, let's say Vedic astrology and, and, and Vedic, um, gosh, I've lost my words, but you know what I mean. On that side of, of the world, snakes are known to be very healing. The gods also wear snakes around them. You know, it's known to be about transformation, healing, protection. So I just want to say that snakes are not let's say bad, okay, but your person feels a snake in the term of, like, the western side, you know, of them feeling like they have been deceitful, they have not been nice, they have not been kind, they have not been, you know, a, a good person, they, they feel like that, okay, so let me just, I, I just have to clarify that, okay, and I also have to clarify that <laughs> snakes are not terrible in the grand scheme of things, okay, anyways, now that I've said that, what I think is really important here is that, well, they, they really have felt, okay, like, they mistreated you, okay, terribly. They terribly, terribly mistreated you. They misjudged things. They were so blinded by their issues and challenges and that they were not being correct towards you in terms of their attitude, their demeanor, and their energies. They realized their wrongs. They realized their wrongs. Yep. Ay, ay, ay. I think the other thing here as well is that there's just such a powerful, powerful energy of them just being under the influence of other people as well who have always just been very dismissive, just very um, pushy towards them, like, oh, just do this and oh, just live your life. And your person has blindly become friends with those kinds of people and then it's basically impacted their own life and their own decisions and of course you know yes your person has made those decisions but they're starting to realize it's not them and guess what those realizations are happening i don't even know where to start because the, the cards are all speaking to me so let's just start here okay five of cups they don't feel good about how they've treated you they feel like they were looking at the wrong picture and if they were to turn around they could see that things were really really good with you they're starting to realize that their perspective is actually very different to you know, how they feel within themselves. We have the Four of Swords, and this is really, really powerful because the Four of Swords is a very, very significant energy of them now sitting down with their thoughts, having time to reflect on things and thinking, wait a second, I did not make some very good decisions. I should have been more open, more kind. I should have been more understanding. I should have really taken this upon myself. I should have healed myself. I should have put myself, you know, first. 
Why was I listening to other people? Four of Swords. This is reflection. This is understanding, which we have here as well with the Hermit and the Hanged Man. Their mind is a lot more enlightened. It's a lot more awakened. They're able to think more clearly now. And also with the Hermit as well, they're actually taking time to think about things. Now, when do they take time to think about things? When they are by themselves. When they they most likely by themselves. Well, first thing in the morning and right before they go to sleep, they have a lot of time to think about things. And so that's when they think about you a lot, okay? We have the energy of the bed. So again, first thing before they go to sleep, first thing when they wake up, that is when they think the most about you. And they also think here about their personal growth and how you always impacted their personal growth to be its strongest. They're starting to realize that by surrounding themselves with the wrong kinds of people, okay, because you've got the Knight of Swords, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, you've got the Knight of Wands, okay, these are like their friends. Their life isn't getting any better. They don't feel uplifted. They don't feel happy. They don't feel content. They feel like everything's just very so-so. Nothing really makes them feel happy. Nothing really makes them feel fulfilled. Nothing really gives them that joy. You know, they feel like their life is just very, very stagnant. It's just not really giving them what they want. And then we've also got here the Ten of Swords. They feel stabbed in the back by some of their friends. They feel just awful, you know, awful in regards to the things that they do, the things that they say, they don't feel like themselves anymore. And that's a big one. That's a big one because someone in their family is starting to realize that they're not acting like themselves. And so again, all of this is coming to the surface and they're starting to realize that they were much more like themselves when they were around you, but then they just treated you terribly. They weren't very nice to you. They said things that they really don't mean anymore. And yeah, they feel like a snake. They just feel like a snake towards you. What can I say? Hmm. Okay. They feel like they were just emotionally very immature towards you and were not good towards you in that sense whatsoever. And this is the energy. So we've got the ten of actually, we've got the ten of swords and the ten of wands. These are the two tens that are quite heavy, let's say. So they're feeling very burdened by their own actions and they realise they don't have anyone else to blame because they did do what they did, right? So because they've got the seven of swords, this is that saying one thing, doing another energy, which of course is just not great, it's not nice, it's not good, but it's what they did. It is what they did. Let's keep going. Let's see. Okay. Major regrets though. Major, 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 major regrets. Huge regrets. Yeah. Okay. Well, what I will say with the page of ones again, you know, their friends really come across in a lot of this and they're starting to realize that their friends aren't actually their friends. They're just people that like egg them on. Well, that's actually quite a strong UK phrase. I, I don't know how much that's used around the world, but like egging someone on is like telling them to like do something, you know, and, and kind of pressurizing them to do things that they would then not want to do. You know what I mean? So they, their friends really do egg them on a lot and starting to realize it's not great. It's not great. It's like um, this person is like, oh, just go grafting, you know, this and go grafting that person. Now, again, grafting is a very strong UK phrase, um, like British slang, you know. Um, so some of you might be like grafting. Like, what is that? Is that to do with like, you know, surgery? Well, I mean, you know, I think it's it's a, a phrase that comes from that as well. But grafting is like working hard, you know, like when you're grafting, you're like really working hard. So um, but also it's a it's a, um, a word that's been made very, very popular by um, a UK television series called um Love Island and honestly <laughs> I think the reason why I thought about it was is because it's like literally all over the press over here it's, it's just so popular but what I'm trying to say is that their friends have been saying like why don't you do this why don't you do that why don't you do this and then your person's like oh, okay and, and actually makes them feel 10 times worse because then they realize that these are things they don't want to do you know so that's really what I mean by grafting and you know like really egging them on to do certain things I think one thing that they're realizing is that they want to graft you, okay? They actually want to come after you. They want to do more towards you. They feel really bad about their actions towards you. And they realize the way that they were acting was more so out of like peer pressure and um, friendship pressure than it actually was them being themselves. So then there's that. And then we've got the four of cups. They, you know, they feel terrible for rejecting you, making you feel that way because other people have been making them feel that way. By the way, these friends are actually not really even their friends. Like I feel stupid for calling them their friends do you know what I mean like because they're not these are not real friends these are not true friends but in the grand scheme of things 
things for you to understand who I'm referring to. I have to call them friends so that you can kind of know exactly who they are to your person. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise, you'd get confused. But they're not friends, basically, you know? Like, they're just not great people for your person. Um, Four of Pentacles, yeah. They've just been, like, holding back their true feelings. Being quite reserved with their emotions, which isn't really always like this person you know like they're not like this in reality and justice here shows they want to resolve things with you justice shows they recognize your great qualities and your characteristics and just how amazing of a person you are sorry not my foot my knee um realizing just how much good fun they had with you nostalgia right the more they are under the influence of these so-called friends put that in quotation marks okay um they are starting to realize that actually with you they felt so much more uplifted they felt happier they felt more content they felt better they felt so much better this this is you okay this is how you make them feel the six of cups you make them feel giddy you feel make them feel happy you make them feel like they can achieve anything that they want in life you make them you make them a better person. So say to yourself, I made this person a better person. Comment it down below, validate yourself because you genuinely did. The people that they surround themselves with right now are questionable, questionable. Um, so, you know, there's a very famous quote which goes, show me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. Trust me, okay? They right now are a reflection of their friends. Their thoughts towards you are, oh my goodness, what have I been doing? And listen, that's where we're at, okay? That is exactly where we are at today in terms of their thoughts towards you. So this is your reading. Don't forget to uh, like this video, subscribe, check out the description box below for information on personal services, rereading giveaway, intention items, all that good stuff. And I will see you all very soon. I also have TikTok and Instagram. If anyone wants to follow me on there, feel free to do so. And I'll see you all very soon. Bye, everyone.